There is a great power within each of us. Neither good nor evil, we use this power to shape the world. The land of Asperon is a large and dangerous tapestry. As time passes, its peoples try to find their place in its grand weave. Most of us go through our lives never really appreciating the subtle beauty and power of our choices. Some of us choose to go out and make our own destiny, no matter who stands. Occasionally, circumstances arise that are much bigger than we are. This forces us to choose very quickly who we are and what we will do. I said nobody gets hurt. You don't take orders from him. In these rare moments, Everything changes. I thought I told you never to come back to this town again, thief. Well, I couldn't stay away from your charming face, Mistress LaDonna. Your flattering won't get you out of trouble this time, Rundar. Breaking into the temple was low, even for you. Technically, I wasn't breaking into the temple due to the undeniable fact that the door was unlocked. Yeah, I'll have a few more picks. Add details, details. It is the decision of the council that you will be banished from this village at the dawn of morrow. Fine, fine. The amount of treasure in this village isn't even enough to smell my smallest pouches. Furthermore, for your crimes against the temple, you are sentenced to accompany the acolyte, Cyrus Pathum, in her quest to retrieve the Amulet of Tears. I have a bad feeling about this. Your yeah. concerns have been duly noted, Cyan, but we feel this is the wisest course of action. Wait a second. You expect me to hunt down a bunch of smelly, rotten, old trolls with a none experience whatsoever, whiny little girl, and with no pay? Yes, that is your sentence. Hmm. I'm curious. What will keep me from abandoning this girl from the first sight of a decent tavern? You wouldn't. I'll say to that laddie. Great, now I've got the stinking dwarf too. Aren't the dwarfs supposed to be small? It's Glodula! Right. Enough! Rundar, you will be comfy sized on the mission, and you, or you will be taking a small walk off the shore box with a noose around your neck. Oh, if that's the case, I'm ready to go now. Good idea. Take him away. I best tell Cyrus of this. Hmm, uh, is it a cloud? No. Is it a tree? No. A grumpy, oversized dwarf? No. A devilishly handsome and young thief. For the last time, I will not play this stupid game with you! Jeez, you're about as friendly as a dragon with a toothache. I am not your friend! That's just because you haven't gotten to know me yet. After time, I'm sure we'll become best of friends. We'll go horseback riding together and have slumber parties and braid each other's, well, beards. Cyrus, my dear, please come sit with me. Of course, Father. Are you feeling well? You know, ever since your mother died, I have vowed to protect you from the evil and bad of this world. Whatever do you mean, Father? Council has decided that it is your responsibility to retrieve the amulet. What? No, I can't! The mayor has sent the thief to accompany you, and Tordak has volunteered. You leave at midday. But I'm only an acolyte. Shouldn't there be someone better qualified? I mean, I haven't even been past the bakery. You must retrieve your mother's amulet. I'm sorry, okay? Please don't send me away over a simple necklace! Cyrus, my love, 
I would never send you away. But your mother's amulet is more than just a necklace. It has been handed down from mothers and daughters for generations. Handed down mother to daughter? I would have been destined to wear it. Then I know what I must do. I will return with the amulet of tears. I'm sorry I acted like a child. Cyrus, my dear, you will always be my child. It must have been hard for the priest to let his daughter come on this quest. I hope you packed enough diapers for her. Where is Cyrus? Yeah, and what does she have that's worth taking? You will remove none of her possessions! Take it easy, my tiny giant. I was just kidding. Just remember I've got my eye on you! Fare thee well, child. Don't look back. Don't look back. Oh. <sighs> Why, Cyrus, my lady. Our out of proportion co comrade and I were just talking about how beautiful and brave you are. I see your tongue is as slippery as your fingers. I'm going to have to keep an eye on you. By all means, dear lady, please keep both eyes on me. Never mind him, lass. Are you ready to go? As ready as I'll ever be. Great then! Follow me, thief! Take the rear! Super, the rear. Hey, you guys better not fart at me! On days without a scrap of food. For once, I don't want to burgle things. This place reminds me of my old friend. We spent years in this place. These stairs were made by dwarves thousands of years ago. To the back of the line. Come on. Quick sand. Quick sand water with point. Be careful! Who knows what evil lurks in these horde forests? 